All right, so this one's a little different. While editing my recent Whistler videos, I remembered I'd filmed some earlier footage that I completely forgot about. Turns out, I recorded on my new Insta360 ONE X4 camera, something I was testing out at the start of our trip. Now I do about 95% of my POV filming with my GoPros, so it's no surprise this footage got buried and slipped my mind. This video actually predates most of the Whistler videos I posted recently, and in it, I'm working through some of my early season struggles on the advanced tech trails in the park. Let's dive in. Looking back on my time in Whistler this past summer, I realized it was a season of ups and downs, literally and figuratively. Last year I was feeling great, really comfortable riding a lot of the black tech trails, but this time something felt different when I first arrived. I came in wanting to progress, but instead I found myself feeling more cautious and out of my element. I don't know if it was the reality of getting a bit older, or if it was just something in my head, but I felt like my confidence had taken a hit, and every time I went out solo, I was second guessing myself, especially on the more advanced technical trails. This year, I found myself riding solo quite a bit. My boys, as you've seen in the previous videos from this trip, were riding at a completely different level than they were last year, tackling advanced and expert tech trails with tons of confidence. And my wife rides at a different pace altogether, so on many days, it was just me and the trails. Riding solo can be freeing, but it's also a little intimidating especially when you're already feeling hesitant. Without anyone there to encourage or push me, I found it easy to back off and take it easy, which wasn't really what I wanted. I was trying to get comfortable, but I kept feeling the hesitation. I still don't fully understand what was going on at the start of the trip, but I think part of it was just me being a year older. I'm not one to focus too much on age, but with each year, you start to feel things a little differently. And honestly, riding technical trails is as much mental as it is physical. I'd look at features that I rode last year without a second thought, and suddenly, I'd feel hesitation creeping in. Another thing I noticed was that it took me a lot longer to warm up each day. In the mornings, I'd hit some intermediate trails, and I'd feel a bit clunky. It wasn't until mid-afternoon that I'd start feeling dialed in, comfortable, and ready to push myself. So, I decided to dedicate a day to just working through it. I started with some of the harder blue tech trails, trails I knew I could handle, and spent time getting them dialed in to the point where it felt almost automatic. I wanted to reach a place where I wasn't hesitating on the basics. After I felt comfortable on the blue tech, I planned to move up to the black trails. Now, as you might have seen in the later videos from this trip, I eventually got to the point where I could ride black trails with my kids and feel completely comfortable. But that wasn't the case in the beginning. It took me time to get there. Ninja Cougar, Karate Monkey, and Samurai Pizza Cat are arguably three of the most popular blue tech trails at Whistler. They're a blast to ride and offer just the right amount of challenge for intermediate riders. Each trail has its fair share of sections that really dial up the pucker factor, and early oh on in the trip, brakes. I was definitely feeling it. My goal was simple. I wanted to ride these trails with confidence. I just needed to put in the time to get there. Devil's Club is a favorite trail for my boys and me, and it's easy to see why. 
It offers a great mix of features, a fun rock slab, some tight technical turns with rocky and rooty sections, and a good amount of woodwork to keep things interesting. For the most part, I was feeling pretty comfortable on this trail, but there was one section that kept tripping me up, a short wooden ladder leading to a left-hand turn that dropped you right into some roots and rocks. For some reason this year, I just couldn't get it right. I felt super awkward riding it, like it was one mistake away from going over the bars. But after stepping back and assessing what I was doing wrong, I worked through the issue. And honestly, that's what this day was all about. Here's that section right here. After making my way back down to the Whistler Village base, it was time to head up to the Garbanzo Zone to take on some more advanced tech. I set my sights on Seven Year War and Seven Years War, two black rated tech trails branching off the blue flow trail Unamas. These trails are packed with steep, rocky terrain that pushed my skills, but turned out to be an absolute hoot to ride.
I decided to make my way over to the Creekside Zone to tackle a trail called Odessa. It's an advanced block tech trail that sits fairly early in the progression matrix, so I thought it would be a good one to work on. I'd actually ridden up the Spencer a couple of weeks earlier, but to be honest, I didn't feel comfortable at all on that first attempt. What came off? Looking back, that day dedicated to working through my discomfort was exactly what I needed. Spending time on those blue tech trails, getting everything dialed, allowed me to find my rhythm again. By the time I hit the black trails, I was in a much better headspace, and it made all the difference. This experience taught me that progression isn't always about pushing into the hardest trails immediately. Sometimes, it's about stepping back, building confidence on the basics, and giving yourself the foundation you need to tackle tougher trails. In the end, I didn't conquer every trail at Whistler on that first day, and that's okay. By taking my time and working through my discomfort, I was able to get back to a place where I felt comfortable enough to ride with my boys. And you know what? That made the whole experience even more meaningful. So if any of you are struggling with progression or feeling hesitant, just remember, it's okay to go about it at your own pace. Sometimes the best way to progress is to take a step back and build that confidence. Thanks for tagging along with me on this ride. It's always a process to push past those mental and physical barriers. But days like this remind me of why I love this sport so much. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. It really helps to grow the channel. And if you want to keep following along with us on this journey, consider subscribing for more rides, progression, and maybe even a few wipeouts. Until next time, stay safe, take it easy, and be rad to each other. Yeah.